And here we go. 4-7. Spawny seems to be floating in midair. All hypnotized by the portal. That is a big portal to be fair. Whoa. What's this dragon? Phoenix? Well, it took Spawny, so that's bad news. It looks really cool though, but... Yeah, that's bad news for us, for sure. And it's flying away to the top of Bowser's castle. Well, I hope you're happy. Excuse me, are you implying that this is our fault? Spawny and I were perfectly happy together. Five minutes with you and he gets kidnapped. And what's Papa gonna say when he comes home to find a giant energy dragon hanging out in his castle? Lucky for you, he's still on vacation, so you'll have time to clean up the mess you made. That's him now. It's probably just another photo of him standing next to a stupid statue or an old pile of rubble. Decided to come home early, son. See you soon, Papa. Ah, your phone is gone. Oh no! That dragon's gonna squish my dad, and then my dad's gonna squish me. What am I gonna do? You gotta help me. I'm coming, Papa. I'm coming. Hmm. Well, like it or not, he has a point. That thing in the sky has been gaining power with each corruption we've set free. It's taken form now, and it has Spawny. Whatever we do, we must do it quickly before it gains any more strength. Or soon, no force in the Mushroom Kingdom will be powerful enough to stop it. That kind of makes me think, how cool would it have been to have Bowser Jr. as like a party member that he then joins up with you now to try and take it down. You know, we, we, you just fought him as a, as a mid boss and then it switches and you get to use him as a, a character. I think that could have been really cool. Ooh, there's like something in the lava too. Well, we have our first battle here. The Fetal. No more escorting. That's... I'm okay with that actually. The escorting missions aren't always the best. Uh, because the escorts can just have so... Uh, they have so little options compared to your other characters. So let's see. There's four bucklers straight away. Followed by two smashers. Then there's this pipe here that goes up here. Where we have a Valkyrie, a peekaboo, another peekaboo, another Valkyrie. And also we have this pipe here. So we could also run up here and do some damage. Interesting. For Rabbit Mario, I'm going to upgrade to the Sunflower Power. I don't quite like the design as much, but it does some extra damage. And for Rabbit Yoshi, I'm going to upgrade to the Sir Crackers. I quite like that too. Maybe not as much as the Bowser Jr., but... Does more stone damage, good against supporters, so yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and give Mario some extra hit points. I'm gonna go ahead and give Rabbit Mario some extra hit points. And we'll give Rabbit Yoshi some extra hit points. And you know what? Let's give him some uh, high ground bonus. Alright, let's uh, start our fight now. There's plenty of methods that we can take here. I first of all want to see... Okay, this does not hurt either of the... Um, either of the either of my characters uh, we could magnet dance but we're not really close enough to utilize that um, with Yoshi we can just slide into the three of you which is quite tempting to do slide into you as a fourth it's quite tempting and then maybe just sit Sit up here or something? I think that would be quite good. Alternatively, we can just toss a grenade here. Before we do anything else, I'm gonna go ahead and give everyone some weapon damage boost. That should uh, come in handy no matter what else we do. Uh, the question is kind of, do I want to throw a grenade here to do a lot of damage here? 
With my slide, I'll do 90 damage. Uh, Mario can run up here, bounce off to do another 130. So that's for 220 total on that guy. Um, and Rabbit Mario, we could also slide in with Rabbit Mario. But I, I'm not sure if I want to do that. Okay, what I'll do is I'm going to slide into all three of these guys. Run through here. Slide into you. And sit back here. Also, it doesn't look like we have any more of the lava storms. So that's been quite nice. Slide into you. There we go. We did a lot of damage there already. We can take a shot at you, which is quite good. Not quite enough to kill. Um... Or we can throw this. We'll see what we do momentarily. Uh, first of all, Mario. We can slide into one of them. I think I want to choose this guy back here. Then we'll run through here. We can bounce off of you. And actually sit you right next here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Slide for 130 damage on him. I'm, I'm quite happy that there aren't really any supporters around. It always helps. Uh, we could guarantee the kill on you. Not quite on you though. Or guarantee the kill on you. All of that will work. Okay. Now, this does a nice amount of damage. We could also slide here, but we'll just damage ourselves. I don't like the idea of that. We could go up here, but what does that help us? Maybe with Rabbit Mario, we should just sit here in the middle and try to kill all of these guys. It's kind of risky, but I'm kind of tempted. How far does the Magnet Dance reach? So we're basically one, two... Okay, let's see. One... Two, three, four, five, six. So we need to advance about six tiles with Rabbit Mario if we want to lure them all ahead. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So if we sit around here, we should be good. I think that's what I'll do. I think I'm going to sit... No, I think I'll sit right behind you, yeah. We do a lot of damage like that. Now here we go. This will kill three of these guys. Which would be pretty good. Now he's obviously going to be able to attack me. But neither of these smashers will be able to attack me. If I magnet dance. The smashers won't quite get lured out. There's this guy as well. I completely forgot about him. Um... I think I'll lure you guys closer in. Um, still, we're only going to be able to kill these three. No matter what we do. Yeah, we can only really do that. If we do this, we'll do even less damage. That's definitely not going to be worth it. So let's do this. Kill these three. And do significant damage on the other one. Uh, Rabbit Mar Mario is really out in the open there. Which is going to be unfortunate. Um, but that's just the reality. Uh, we have the choice of killing either of these peekaboos. Or maybe shooting at you. I think I'll just shoot this close by peekaboo. And then Rabbit Yoshi. This won't kill... But it's really our only target. So let's shoot at him. I would have liked that to do a little bit more. But unfortunately he survives with like very minimal health. Oh well that was a decent first turn. Those guys will run closer. But won't do anything. Which is a-okay. He's unfortunately going to get inked and critical on us. With nothing much we can do about that. Oh. Rabbit Mario is in a... Big trouble. Yep, Rabbit Mario died. Maybe we should have been less greedy and simply tried to, I don't know, like uh, use our shield so we could 
stop some damage coming in. But I was greedy. So, yeah. Uh, this is as far as you can run up, isn't it, Mario? Yeah, you can run up, like, up to here. So I think it makes sense to... It makes sense to slide into you. And have you run up here. The enemies are going to be on that side. So... I mean, alternatively, we could hide behind here. But then we don't have a good shot. So yeah, I'll run up here like this. Kill you. Be behind this block. You have a 50% shot at killing the other guy. Um, Yeah, we just barely can't slide into him, which is unfortunate. Uh, what we can do is slide into you... And land next to you. I think I'm really tempted to do that. I don't think any of them can reach. Yeah, none of them seem to be able to reach the pipe over there. So, I think we'll be fine still. So, we can hammer you for a lot of damage. First of all, I'm going to activate this because it makes sense. Now we can only do that. We could get a 50% shot. Doesn't make sense. I'll, I'll go for the 100% shot here. We get critical push. Does that kill him? That kills him. Nice. I'm happy with that. Then Mario. Let's hope we get lucky. Well, this will finish him off, so I'm, I'm good with that. It's another one down. And there's no reason, reason to do that. So that just leaves these three, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, just those three are left. We can go down here and get one slide in. Which isn't great. Mario... He could run down, but he can't get a slide in at all. None of them are going to be able to reach yet. Although what I could do is have Mario run up here. And we'll shoot at you. That will make you run a little bit closer. Not close enough. But closer. Which means... Yep, you are now a target for my slide. I can slide into both of them. That will put Rabbit Yoshi at a lot of risk. But then on the other hand... We've already lost our perfect, so does it really matter? Not overly. Not overly is my thinking here. So we'll attack both of you. Okay, we could get a guaranteed kill on you. No matter what, we'll get a... Yeah, no matter what, we'll get a guaranteed kill on you. But we don't really seem to be able to kill anyone else. I'm going to do global damage reduction. At least. Um, yeah, both of them are going to be able to hit me next turn. So I might as well... I might as well hope that this stones them. Would be great. Nice. That is so good. Because now it's enemies, but they can't do anything because they were stoned. Man, that was good. Okay, we can... Our slide won't kill you yet. But Mario can come down now. Um... And Mario can probably kill them with the hammer. So I'll, I'll have you stand like here. Slide you both. You're still alive. That's okay. We'll go through here. 
bounce off of you and land right next to you. Yoshi will shoot the one guy to kill with like the very minimal HP he has left and Mario or Mario just kills them both with his hammer, I guess. I don't think we really needed that crit, but there we go. Battle cleared. Only a good because yeah, we, we got way too greedy with Rabbit Mario early on. That's definitely on me, but honestly worth it? Kind of. A little. <laughs> It was a fun start. Okay, well, we have our next fight here. What? Wario and Waluigi? Wario and Waluigi. Corrupt car caricatures. Oh my god, I love it. Yes. Yes. I love it. Wario and Waluigi. That's great. That That is... Oh. That is... I, I'm so happy right now. I really am. Okay, so we have... Two Valkyries, two Smashers, and then Buario and Waluigi. Okay, so Buario, 800 health. He can do Freeze with his uh, thing. He has a Villain Sight, and he can do a Ground Pound. Waluigi has a 1,000 health points. He can do Melee with Honey, and he can do a Magnet Dance. Cool. For Rabbit Luigi, I'm going to go ahead and buy the Cactus Fracas. And equip it. But yeah, he doesn't really have great weapons here late game, unfortunately. All right, let's start our fight then. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like the first turn is mostly just going to be defense as we won't be able to make it up at all to do much of anything. What we can do is take some 50% shots, potentially. Um, but that's that's really going to be about the best we can do, which is unfortunate. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 50% shots, that's really not great. In that case, it's not going to be worth it to give everyone increased damage output. But I probably want to stay like behind these blocks. Two of them can go behind these blocks. So I'll probably do that with... Although if we stay behind these blocks, we're not going to be able to reach even next turn. I'm going to have Rabbit Yo or Yoshi run up here. Okay, I'm going to have Mario run up here. And then Rabbit Luigi finally. I'll have him run to the other side. This first turn, unfortunately, we don't really have many options. Um, what I could do is give everyone their guaranteed effect, which is tempting. Uh, Mario just has a 50% shot, though. That said, maybe I'll utilize this. Um. Yeah, I'll just give everyone their 100% uh, shots. Okay, with Rabbit Luigi, I'm going to go ahead and shoot here. We'll get the push. Oh, uh, damn it. That didn't really quite work out how I wanted it to. He jumps down now. Mario will get the guaranteed bounce. Okay, I guess that works fine still. Gonna run closer and Mario is gonna shoot him again for another guaranteed bounce. And does that kill him? I think that kills him. Okay. So one one uh person down. Um next up, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get the ink on here. This will do more damage though. This will hit someone else as well. Yeah. Yeah, this will ink both of them, so we'll go for that. He'll run closer, but he's going to be inked, so he can't actually attack us. So that should be fine. Uh, that said, oh, if this activates, then I'll actually be unhappy. I think I'll just try the 50% shot at you. Nice. Oh, no, wait, he's still inked. So I guess we could have done that on the Smasher. Whatever. I'll give myself immunity to super effects just in case. And we'll see what happens here. So while Luigi runs closer, you shouldn't be able to actually attack me. Wario takes a shot but misses and activates his fin side. And you take a shot, you hit, but it's okay. And you shield both of those. Okay, that was a pretty decent first turn, I think, all things considered. 
Uh, we can definitely slide into you. Definitely want to do that. And I think I will want to slide into you, even though you're going to hit me. For how much? For about 85 damage, yeah. Actually, for exactly 85 damage. But I think that would still be worth doing. Um, so that's what we can do with you. Now with Yoshi, we can slide into you as well. So that's 90 plus 160 is already 250. And then if Mario also slides into you, you would be done for. Alternatively, Mario could slide into one of these guys. We'll have to see. He actually can't go back up, so I could just leave him here for now. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and give uh, Mario and Yoshi some extra weapon boost power this turn. I, I want to remember again, how far can Mario run up here? So, about this, this line. If it wanted to place Yoshi somewhere up here that's somewhat safe, though, there's no spot because he's going to call us in close. That's kind of the issue, I think, with that approach. And we can't really run the other side. So I think we might just want to try and do a lot of damage to Waluigi this first turn. Okay. I think I've decided. I'm going to slide into you for 160 plus vamp. Uh, since we can only slide into two people, you would have been the only other one we could even slide into anyway. Do you have that you run closer? You do have chase. So you gotta keep that in mind. But if I lock you here... Yeah, that should be fine. Um... Do I want to sit right next to you and just take a shot at you? No. I think... Yeah, I'll, I'll do this. Okay, we got shot here already. But I, I, I knew we would get hit. So that's okay. We do 160 vampire slide. Vampire slide on you. Okay, we can't get a shot on you. They don't count as mid-bosses. So I, I've learned that now. That was something that I was wondering about. Okay, I think I've decided what I want to do. I'm going to slide into you. And... Do I want to sit... Behind here, maybe? Uh, there's not really a good place to sit with Mario. Um, this might work. Uh, I decided to not slide into the Smasher down below on purpose because he won't be able to reach me anyway so i figured it might be smarter to just uh, leave him down here ignore him you know and we're not really going to do damage um and what i want to do is nice i can have yoshi land somewhere here to do a significant amount of damage which spot is the best spot is the only question that remains. Um, I think this spot, this spot. We'll, we'll go for this spot, yeah. So the Smasher down there, he's going to live for another turn, but he's not going to do anything from down where he is. Do a lot of damage again. Okay, we can kill you. Guaranteed, we could kill you. Now, Mario can guarantee kill you as well. And he is the one causing the protect right now. Not this one. This one is being protected. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to kill the guy protecting. I think that makes sense. Now... We could shoot this here for a lot of damage. This is not even enough to... I mean, that will... That would probably be enough to kill. I think. I'm gonna activate this. Just to do some more damage. 
And if we could ink, that would be great. That said, do I want to shoot at you? I'm gonna sh I'm gonna shoot a rocket here. Push, nice. Can we do a lot of damage like that. A lot happened. He's gonna run towards Yoshi. That's bad. Critical honey. Not not quite what I would have wanted as an outcome there. Uh, we couldn't kill this guy, which is tempting. But still, you yeah, you're not able to get up here. You're gonna do a lot of damage next turn. I don't. Hmm. Honestly, maybe getting lucky and killing you would be great, so... Yes, there we go. I'm happy with that choice then. Uh, we'll weaken them. And then it's enemy turn. He, he shouldn't be able to reach. Yep, good. Okay, you do a little bit of damage, but that's fine. You do some more damage with your ground thumb. That's fine. You do a bit more and you got burned off, unfortunately. And you jump down. Okay. Well, Rabbit Yoshi is in a bit of trouble. Bit bit low on health. You know, I, I, I generally prefer my characters to have more health than Rabbit Yoshi has at the moment. Uh, but other than that, I think we'll live here. Uh, so I can slide into you for a lot. I don't have any of my abilities except for Rabbit Luigi's one ability. So I guess I do have a ability. We could actually jump down here and kill you. Which is actually tempting to do. Because then we can just run back up again. And... I'll have... Yeah, I'll sit here. Slide for 160, so we activate vamp so that anyone else who starts doing damage to them can get some health back. Most notably, uh, Yoshi, of course. Uh, we can't actually shoot the other guy. Then, what I think I want to do is slide into you. Oh no, if we run down there, we can't slide anymore. If I jump down and just slide into you then come back up and try to bounce i don't think i can really i could land here without damaging anyone i think that would be good we do 90 damage yeah 90 damage to you so that's fine 91 damage. We heal ourselves up a little bit further. Now Mario... Actually, we need to just jump down. We get the kill like that. Go in here. Uh, we can't quite get a jump off anyone though. Okay. Well, that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot you. Nice. He's in now. Uh, he has 47 health left. Cool. We're winning this turn. We push you, but that doesn't matter. All we need to do now is have Mario... I mean, if we jump off of you, there's nothing we can do. So Mario, we're just sliding into you. And I'll grab that coin. And that's game. Aw, Buario and Waluigi. I still love that. There we go. Battle cleared. We got a perfect. Although we didn't get a perfect on the previous one, so... In the end, it doesn't really matter. But still, I like to get as many perfects as I can. Even if, you know... It isn't perfect for the chapter. So there we go. That saves that. Now I guess we'll have to move higher up and actually enter the castle wow 
Well, there's our next chapter. Do we have to run back for the red coins? I don't think so. That seems weird. Maybe we had to? I don't know. I'll see. I'm gonna smash these rocks first. Hey! Secret pipe? Box? And push this. Down like that. Okay, well what if we take this? That is literally just for this. Okay. Well, I guess we have to run back there. Yeah, okay. It does look like they are, there are more coins back here. Which is interesting. They usually don't make you run like back. But I guess this time they thought that would be fun. To make the player run... All the way back. Um, yeah, I, I, I guess it's just a long run. It's not tough or anything. It's just a bit weird that they make you run that far back. Well, give me a good weapon for it at least. Ah, the blooper shooter looks pretty cool for Yoshi. We'll check it out. Uh, before our next battle but i think that is everything that we can do so now we just need to run back and then we can start 4-8 i'm excited